Thank you very much for coming. Fred, thanks for the intro. I hope I'm not just here because we did a podcast together. Promise? Oh, it's so sweet. Um, actually, we've known Fred for a long time. He had a, a very important hand in developing our app um, all those years ago, which I think was instructive for us in terms of how we've developed the podcasting space. And I'm very proud to say that we turned five this year. We're still in business, uh, regardless of all the, uh, the naysayers at the time, thinking that that would be you know, six months and you'd never have to hear my name again. Um, happily, we, we're, we're in business, we're doing really exciting things, and I, I even see some of our clients in the room. Marius from Luno, they've been incredible. And really, a lot of very forward-thinking, interesting brands, including Discovery, who we've done three series with, um, who understand that podcasting is not only something that should be part of your media mix, but is one of the best ways to tell your story. So I'm gonna talk very briefly because I'm sure your questions will be more useful than anything I can say as a presentation. But I do have one little case study to show you at the end of this, and that is the only time I will expect you to have to look at the screen. Um, we started this business as an online streaming station uh, with some podcasting as one of the things we offered. That was all, all of five years ago. Um, it's developed and changed and, and evolved as a business to the point now where we are we're, we're developing content for brands rather than just doing shows and, and doing, you know, coming up with our own content. So we're helping brands to tell their stories, to reach their own audiences in better ways. Everyone, the big secret of 2019 is that everyone is now in the media business. If you're an engineering firm, if you're a, a medical services company, if you're a company that makes coffee, you're also in the media business because Thanks to social media, everybody now is expected to deliver content, right? And for some people, this is difficult because it isn't their main focus. So if you have a business that's doing absolutely anything, you might not be running your media business, which you all have, very well, because it's not your main focus. You might be selling product, you might be delivering service or whatever it might be. So you sometimes need someone to help you develop that content and to, to feed that audience because the beautiful thing about being around now is that that audience is your community. Fred said just now that the Heavy Chef community, it's a real sense of community. And I'll give you an example just now of how we're taking real communities, turning them into digital communities, and then turning those digital communities back into real ones. But I digress. So for the purposes of an introduction to this discussion, you have a media business inside your business. You might be utilizing that quite well, a lot of it might be hit and miss, a lot of it might be experimental. We've been experimenting for five years with different content options and different audiences. And the exciting thing about podcasting is that it opens up a universe of long form content possibilities that were not available to people before. What makes that amazing is that if you have a story to tell, if you have a compelling narrative, if you have character, um, brand uh, integrity, values, purpose, meaning, all of those things can be imbued now into something which doesn't require you to squeeze it into a 30 second ad, which people mostly tune out now anyway. It doesn't have to be explained as complex as it may be and as interesting as it may be in a billboard which you drive past on the highway and it doesn't have to be reduced to the sound bites that we're used to now from mainstream media. You can actually treat your audience with the respect of, of accepting that they may be as clever, if not cleverer than you. And they may want to know something that's detailed, something that, that has depth, something that perhaps could be nuanced, could be argued from two sides. Imagine that we're cleverer than we thought we were, and that people actually like stories with many characters, that people like hearing about complex ideas. They're not puerile and stupid, and not everything needs to be reduced to 280 characters. This is what podcasting can do for people. And among the brands that we've worked with, this is what they understood off the bat. What's happening in South Africa at the moment with podcasting is it's growing, not exponentially, but incrementally. That's probably as a result of the fact that our economy isn't even growing. Um, and, and that people who are catching onto this podcast thing now are actually, uh, you know, they're probably still a couple of years ahead of the mainstream 
But we've been doing this five years, and the people who joined us in the beginning are now wise to all of this stuff. So we've built quite a big, solid core audience from the media and distribution side of what we do. And we've started to play in the world of creating content that isn't necessarily just for our audience, but could be for yours, in ways that I think we can make a massive difference. So we've become almost like a, a little agency in some respect, in that we're, we're taking on content strategy as a main pillar in our business um, and, and addressing issues that each client needs almost in a bespoke fashion. This is a lot more exciting for me than just doing what I was doing on radio online, which has really never been what we did, even though people still call us online radio. Um, let me give you an example of this community thing. So Waterfall Estate is this enormous development um, between Pretoria and Johannesburg. There are nine residential developments within it, Mall of Africa, uh, lots of businesses, shopping centers, gyms, hospitals, schools. It's a real community. We've put together a podcast for them, which started last month. One podcast a month, it's 15 minutes or so long, that tells the story of Waterfall, the history of it. We have a resident who's an expert in birds, talking about what kind of bird life you'll see there. We have people talking about the security upgrades that are going on. It's only for the people in Waterfall, but it's taking this real community and creating a digital place for them to listen. A lot of these people are busy. They don't have time to read a newsletter. Nobody here reads newsletters. Don't lie to me. <laughs> and so they can listen for 15 minutes once a month to something that will fill them in and give them information that will make them, first of all, feel either inspired, empowered, entertained, or informed, or also just kind of part of something. It will connect with them, engage them in some real fashion. And then we take that digital community and convert it back into a real one. And we can incorporate all kinds of things. The businesses in that community can eventually start telling their stories. And I think it could be a template for all the other estates in South Africa, which we know are like, you know, they're a dime a dozen. Um, most of you probably live in one, even if you don't admit it. Some boomed off area, perhaps. So that's an example of what we're doing that's innovative and different from what we've done before. Um, we, we've just started a series, which I'll give you a, a quick look at now, um, with tailor blinds and shutters. Now, they're a window dressing company, right? They're doing a history podcast. There isn't a direct link there. They're just producing beautiful stories with us, great content. 15 minutes on Shaka Zulu, or Julius Caesar, or Mahatma Gandhi, or Pixley Kaisaka Seme. And we're producing these because the CEO of Taylor Blinds loves history as much as I do. He's passionate about it. He's very knowledgeable. The two of us sit in a studio, we tell these stories. And for Taylor Blinds, it's a hell of a lot more interesting than an ad about blinds. <coughs> now, no matter what business you're in, you don't have to just talk about that business. If you're going to be a media company, then you need to start thinking about providing all kinds of interesting content to your audience. And that's really where the exciting stuff lies for anybody. So whatever you're thinking about in terms of podcasting, don't think of interviews, um, getting someone to do a lecture. While those things are very valuable and interesting, there are new ways of doing these things. We've just done a, a pilot episode of what we call Gincast. And this is going to be the story of gin, where it originated from, how there have been no less than five acts of parliament passed against gin not against all other alcohol, just gin, how the drunkest day in human history was a day in London in 1725 where everybody gets so absolutely fucked on gin that nothing ran the next day. And the cops all thought there'd be riots. Everyone was so drunk, nothing happened. <laughs> These are the kinds of stories that, you know, for a person who's selling, let's say Schweppes, selling mixers, how do you differentiate from Fitch and Leeds or Clark and Sons or all these other products? It's not your packaging or your point of sale ad anymore. It's that you own the story of gin. This is powerful. This is what excites me a hell of a lot more than radio and television did in the old days. So I hope that through the course of our discussion and our questions later on, we'll answer a lot of the the gray areas that I might not have got to in this, but I didn't want to bore you with a long, boring presentation about what we are and what we do and where we've been and blah, blah, blah. So that's the overview. That's the, the pricey. I'm going to play this for you. If you, you could play it off there.
just started talking about history. I remember talking about Marcus Aurelius on the Danube in the winter. The idea was born then about doing a, a history podcast. And I think from the creative side, Gareth, he, he felt it could work because I had no clue. I, I wasn't sure how it would pan out. You know, when, when two people, and I assume because of the success of the series, it's more than two people, are as interested in the subject as this, then that's a conversation. And since podcasting is all about authentic conversations, and about delivering really entertaining, informative, inspiring, empowering stuff to an audience, this was an obvious one. And, and I'm just glad that it worked out the way that it did um, because it took an enormous amount of trust from both sides to do something that had never really been done. Minutes after he entered the room, they, they murdered him. Most famous murder in history. We could do this in the form of, of a lecture series. We could do this in the form of, you know, dramatic, um, semi-fictional stuff. I mean, there's plenty of places you could take this. I'd be very happy if we could play a small part in, um, in making history exciting. We're putting together 15 minute YouTube videos, which include, you know, like the Martin Luther King Jr.'s birth certificate with his name scratched out and Martin written in, because that wasn't his name when his father first named him. And interesting stuff that I think, you know, you, you, once you own this, once you're in people's heads for 15 minutes, that's marketing gold. And it doesn't matter that you're not trying to hard sell them something, because that puts most people off these days. They can see through that from, you know, a mile away. It's that you get to develop, and people use this word, they abuse the word engage, but the, the connection is very real here. People are loving this content. We just got uh, a nomination for the New York Festival Awards for podcasting for it, um, and we were a finalist, which is terrific, and I think we'll probably win with the second season if, uh, if we if we enter, and, and I think that there are lots of other things that are going to start kicking into play here. So, podcasting is on the up. Um, anyone can do one, but not everyone can do one well. And if you're interested in it, then talk to us, because we're really doing some very, very cool stuff at the moment. Thank you.